this is a 671 um, and that's what the oil looks like there's obviously coolant water in the oil uh, we're gonna assume it's the head gasket um, could be an oil cooler but usually that's not gonna put water in the oil it's gonna go the other way around put oil in the coolant because the oil's you know 40 psi going through that cooler and the coolant's only like four to six psi so uh, probably had gasket on this and this bus came from Mexico there was no actually coolant in it it's just water so that you don't have any of the rust inhibiting properties of coolant and stuff like that so that's more likely than not it's one of those o-rings has failed because it's been corroded around it so I'm gonna drain the oil drop the oil pan pressurize the cooling system and see if I see it come up from up top but regardless the head's gonna come off at this point I'm sure so uh, and also get a good look at the bearings down here uh, and see how they look but that is very milkshake say that the head gasket leak is somewhere up on this side because of how white everything is so it must be one of those coolant lines on the very end of the head up on this end because this is really a lot more watery here and then it goes away and it's black 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 hints of gray obviously because the oil's put in there but nothing like what it is There's some coming down there. That's just the oil drain, though. But it's so diluted like that back here. That'd be my guess. So if I pressurize it, I'm gonna odds are see it come down over here. So that's kind of what a Jake break is supposed to look like. Look at how rusted up and just fucked up this is. The upper end of this is disgusting. It's had water in it and it's clearly had it for a long freaking time. Unbelievable. Rod break, don't look half bad. Anyway. 